Hello, welcome to Gagro.net. This is Gagro Live on Facebook. My name is Wally Sarkisian, and today we also have Harut Sansunian, top Armenian journalist, writer, and publisher. And today we're going to, the subject we're going to talk is um, crisis in Armenia again. Uh, Azerbaijan launched massive attack on all front of Armenia. So, uh, Harut, welcome again. Thank you, Wally. My pleasure. Um, so, uh, there is some people in there, uh, especially this Igor Hazarian. Uh, he's uh, bringing people on the front of parliament, uh, asking people to come and join them. They are trying to force the member of parliament to sign a letter or they can't go in. I don't know how they first. So let's look at but few minutes their their video will come back. Եթե ազգային ժողովի շենքի դիմաց վաղը մենք ունենանք անհրաժեշտ տվող քաղաքացիներ, որը հնարավորություն կտա փակել Բաղրամյան Պողոտան, փակել Դեմիրչան Պողոցը, ազգային ժողովի բոլոր մուտքերը, այսինքն եւ կենտրոնական մուտքը, եւ Դեմիրչան մուտքը, եւ տնտեսական մուտքերը, մենք թույլ չենք տա, որպիսի ազգային ժողովի պատգամավորները ուղղակի մտնեն ազգային ժողովի շենք այսինքն թույլ կտանք միայն այն դեպքում եւ որ իրանք մուտքի մոտ կստորագրեն վարչապետ Նիկոլ Փաշինյանին անվստահություն հայտնելու նախաձեռնության տակ այսինքն կգան բոլոր պատգամավորները ով էլ որ չկա կազմ ենք խմբեր կենտրոնական ընտրական հանձնաժողովի կայքում կան նրանց բոլորի հասցեներ մենք գնալու ենք բոլորի տներ գձևավորվեն ըստեղ աշխատանքային խմբեր արդեն նման կազմակերպական աշխատանք տարվում է կգնան բոլոր պատգամավորների տները խմբերով մարտիկ դրաման անհրաժեշտ է մեծ մարտկային ռեսուրս ասենք գձևավորվի 50 օկանոցում 20 օկանոցում կգնան կոնկրետ հասերով այդ պատգամավորի սիրուն առանց բռնության առանց ինչ որ բանի կնստացնեն ավտոն կբերեն ազգային ժողով սրանք կստորագրեն վարչապետին անվստահություն հայտնելու նախաձեռնության տակ կմտնեն ազգային ժողով եւ որ մենք ունենանք վաղը արդեն անհրաժեշտ թվով ստորագրություններ պատգամավորների նաև մեր թեկնածուն կմտնի ազգային ժողով կկվիարկվի եւ այդ պահին արդեն Նիկոլ Փաշինյանի լիազորությունները դադարեցվելու են հայաստանում ձևավորվել են նոր կառավարություն որը ամիջապես վերջ կտնի ռազմական գործողություններին կփոխվի իրավիճակը եւ դա կլինի մեկ օրվա ընթացքում այս պահի դրությամբ ցավով եմ ես արձանագրում շատ մեծ ցավով եմ արձանագրում որ չնայած մեր բոլոր բացատրությունների հիմնավորումների եւ այլը չնայած մեր երկու ստեղծված իրավիճակին նոր պատերազմի նոր զոհերի նոր կորուստներին դերևս ազգային ժողովի 107 պատգամավորներից ոչ մեկը ոչ մեկը չի ստորագրել Նիկոլ Փաշինյանին անվստահություն հայտնելու նախաձեռնության տակ այսինքն դա նշանակում է որ նրանք բոլորը 107 պատգամավորները այս պահի դրությամբ միաձայն սատարում են Նիկոլ Փաշինյանին վստահություն են հայտնում Նիկոլ Փաշինյանին ես կարծում եմ որ շատերի համար պատգամավորների սա ուղղակի մահացու մեղքա ցավա երևի իրանց համար լսել այդ խոսքերը բայց դա փաստի արձանագրումը այդ մեղքից այդ խարանից դուրս գալու միայն մեկ ձեր գոյություն ունի եթե հիմա հենց հիմա իրենք իրենց գրասենյակներում առանձին հավաքվեն նախաձեռնություն ցուցաբերեն առաջադրեն վարչապետի թեկնածու գան ազգային ժողով հենց հիմա գան գիշերը մեզ հետ մնան այս մարդկանց հետ մեր բազմաթիվ քաղաքացիների հետ որոնց թիվը վստահեմ ժամանակի ընթացքում ավելանալի է գան ու առավոտյան մենք մտենք ազգային ժողով Նիկոլ Փաշինյանին իշխանությունից հեռացնելու սա ռեալա սա տեսանելի է սա հնարավոր է սա մի անգամ պետք անել եւ դրա միակ հնարավոր տարբերակը ստեղծան ամենը հավենա հավանական տարբերակը դա այսօրը եւ դա բան Alright so so basically I promised them I'm going to run this so what do you think about it Well you know I'm not opposed to any ideas suggestions how to get rid of uh, Prime Minister Pashinyan a lot of things have been tried because he refuses to resign he prefers prefers his seat over the homeland uh, any other leader in the world on november 9 when he suffered the devastating defeat would have either resigned on the same day same evening or committed suicide 
uh, Pashinyan refuses to do any of those things. And he wants to sit there and contrary to a lot of people who don't know how Armenia works, uh, they ask me how long he's going to be prime minister. He has no term limit. He's uh, there as long as his party members are the majority in parliament. And in four years from now, they can reelect him uh, prime minister, vote for him for prime minister. So uh, all uh, for months now, there have been street demonstrations, protests, and uh, Pashinyan keeps saying uh, the people in the street, they're, they're not people. The protesters are not people. I guess for him, only the people are those who support him. Those who are opposed to him, they're not people. And this is a, uh, came to power as a Democrat. Uh, he doesn't know the basic thing about democracy. So now this guy, uh, Ghazarian, is uh, calling on people to come to the parliament, uh, block the entrances, send groups of people to uh, parliamentarians' homes and uh, bring them to the parliament. Uh, I don't think that's going to work because parliamentarians are not going to get in a taxi and come over against their will. And Ghazarian says, we're going to do this peacefully. I don't know how that's going to work peacefully. But if he wants to try something, uh, I'm not opposed to trying anything because the country is in turmoil. Uh, it's uh, going downhill fast. Uh, every day that passes uh, for two years now, we've seen uh, every morning we wake up, there's something worse happening than the day before. Nothing is not only get, get, not getting better, it's not even staying the same in the same bad situation, we're going backwards. So the country is on the verge of collapse and uh, we need to save Armenia, save Artsakh uh, from Pashinyan. Uh, and we need somebody c competent and capable to come and take over. Uh, even the most competent person will not be able to overnight uh, reverse all the losses because we're in a very tight spot. But at least the new guy will not allow the country to get worse and worse on a daily basis. He will uh, stop the bleeding, which is already a, a, a win, and not to get worse. And uh, we're getting worse. And now there's this attack, which wasn't there two days ago. In, in two weeks from now, there, there may be another attack. In four weeks, another attack. Aliyev uh, is, uh, just spoke uh, a few minutes ago, and he says, uh, I'm going to crush the skull of Armenians. And he says, I'm going to use my iron fist. He, your, when your enemy makes no secret of his plans, he threatens to eliminate you, you have to pay attention. You have to listen to him when your enemy is threatening you. You can't just ignore it. That's what we've been doing in the last 30 years, ignoring all the threats. Finally, Aliyev uh, found the proper uh, occasion and attacked and, uh, and conquered. Uh, so, but it looks like he's not finished. His agenda is still valid. He wants to continue. They're constantly talking about Sunik, talking about Lake Sevan being Azeri, Yerevan being an Azeri city. So there, there's no end to their uh, cynical ambitions. They want to go all the way and uh, eliminate Armenia from the face of the earth. Between Azerbaijan and Turkey, their ally, uh, which is also, uh, since yesterday, uh, rattling its saber, saying we're going to come to the rescue of our uh, ally, Azerbaijan, our brother, Azerbaijan, and uh, accusing Armenia of attacking Azerbaijan, which is the same thing Aliyev is doing, which is all lies. Uh, Armenia is in no position to attack anybody. They, uh, uh, they, it's weak. It doesn't, its military is devastated. Its military hardware is destroyed. And Pashinyan has not replaced the hardware in two years. And uh, he got up uh, today, Armenia time, in parliament and spoke for almost an hour and answered questions. But of course, he, he spoke to only his party members. The opposition boycotted the parliament. And uh, all he did was answer some softball questions from his party members and, uh, and left. And of course, uh, as usual, he said the most uh, nonsense things uh, about the whole situation. Uh, and uh, this guy has no shame. He will continue uh, 
uh, acting like he's doing something. Uh, and uh, only naive people in Armenia or diaspora, whoever is still left with him, and their numbers are dwindling by the day, uh, will believe him. Uh, the rest will, uh, uh, we don't know whether to cry at the situation or to laugh at Pashinyan or what. I guess it's a mixture of both uh, laughter and, and, and tears. Well, so that, that's where we are. He was, he was talking like nothing happening the way he was in the parliament. He was lecturing his cult, you know. Like, where, where is this guy anger? He, with Armenian people, he used hammer, he, he, he attack him, he call for revenge. But somehow, with Azerbaijan, you never see anger with this guy. He's so calm and, you know, it's just bizarre, this, this, this human being, you know, like, it's just, I just don't understand. How could someone be so nice to your enemy and such a brutal dictator toward the Armenian people? Well, it's simple. That's because his powers can only dominate his uh, domestic opposition and he's helpless vis-a-vis -vis the enemies. And uh, whenever uh, an opposition member says anything critical, he responds uh, waving a hammer in the air, threatening to flatten them to the asphalt, try to uh, uh, s splash them against the wall, uh, crush them. But whenever Aliyev says anything against Armenia, threatens Armenia or Erdogan or Shabushoglu, he doesn't respond. He hardly no. says anything. Uh, like how long, how long can Armenia put up with this? Like, like right now with this war so far, about 50 people dead, 80 people are injured, wounded. How long can Armenian put up with this crap? And, and they're taking even more hostages now. I know, well, the 50 is just uh, the initial number. And uh, even yeah. Pashinyan admitted in parliament uh, today that uh, the numbers may increase. Uh, uh, 50 is the minimum number. Uh, they will increase because it's probably more than 50 to begin with and as the fighting goes goes along uh, they'll, they'll increase the victim uh, those who are killed and injured so uh, but you know if the people stay in a coma in in just uh, total apathy and carelessness they don't come to the street i assure you if 100,000 armenians tomorrow will be in the streets Pashinyan will not know where to, where to uh, escape. But if there's only a handful of people in front of parliament or in the streets, and Pashinyan will ignore them. But he cannot ignore 100,000 people because 100,000 people are going to demand that he leaves. And if he doesn't leave, they're going to catch him, arrest him, try him, and, uh, and punish him. Which is his doing already. That's unbelievable. Like like those images we get, say, Azerbaijan using the full-fledged military. <laughs>
already we lost the war when we were armed and since the war we lost a lot of the uh, uh, weaponry that Armenian army had so we have much less protection Armenian military is much weaker and Pashian hasn't lifted a finger to strengthen Armenia I keep talking but uh, uh, no one listens uh, Armenia has millions of problems but the problem number one priority number one is having a strong military now even with a strong military we're going to have a hard time defeating Azerbaijan and Turkey but at least you put a good fight you defend your borders let me also remind people who have forgotten and uh, Pashinyan never talks about this so people won't remember and most people have forgotten on May 12, 2021 the Azeri military just like today marched in inside Armenia's border to 12 kilometers or about uh, eight miles and ever since May 12, 2021 Azeri military is sitting inside Armenia's borders uh, eight to ten miles and they're just sitting there as if it's part of Azerbaijan and yeah. Pashinyan not only in a year and almost half hasn't done anything to repulse the enemy forces he doesn't even talk about it no let's say let's say he doesn't have the weaponry to repulse them but what prevents him from getting up in front of tv and say dear people this is unacceptable uh, i apply here i apply there or we put pressure on Azerbaijan. he doesn't even talk about it he goes he, in he there just, that, accept yeah, it, yeah, accept yeah, it look, that Azeri is uh, sit there six months it was six months after war look he went there having ice cream with with as a Bajani dictator. And what did make that Pashinian two weeks from now doesn't go even sit and talk to him? Two or six months. That was six months after the war. The minute uh, Jean Michel the, from the EU will uh, invite him and Aliyev to Brussels, he's going to run there. Yeah. And uh, just sit down and talk as if everything is fine. Yeah. and uh, talk about peace he's yeah. been talking about peace with our enemies that's why i wrote a column uh, two weeks ago i said before we reconcile with our enemies let armenians reconcile with themselves so and uh, i put a quotation on my facebook uh, page from the writer famous writer rafi who in 1882 140 years ago he said something that is so valid even today he said, we come constantly ask people to, to be our friend, to support us, defend us. He says, no one's going to come to our defense. Why? Because we don't even defend ourselves. We're not even friendly with ourselves. Yeah. So we should not expect anybody to be, to be friendly to us. We, we act and talk like the world owes us something. Nobody cares about Armenia and Armenians, except Armenians themselves. If you don't care yourself about your own country, your own interest, how do you expect Russians, Americans, Europeans, anybody else to care about you more than you? You have to set an example. You have to care yourself and do everything possible to arm yourself, to defend yourself, rather than just sit there and expect a savior to come out of the sky and uh, do what you're not doing for your, for your own country to defend you. It's not going to happen. We've, sp we've lived thousands of years like this, not just now, not just 30 years three four thousand years always yeah. expecting an outsider to come and defend us and save us that savior has never come we've been conquered attacked massacred genocide uh, devastated cities destroyed by a variety of powers over the centuries and no one has ever come to our rescue and no one no one ever will not today not before not not in the future this uh I think it is mayor of uh, Kerar Nuk province says 80 wounded. I mean, imagine what what attack this Azerbaijan is doing that Armenian is losing this much people. That's just uh, incredible. And of course, they are losing it too. But Azerbaijan doesn't care about a human human life. Well, they also have 10 million population. We have less yeah. than 3 million. Yeah. But I don't know, like, look like, uh, I don't know, but I'm just vaguely um, hoping 
those people gonna go in front of parliament this time there is enough anger would do it because if they don't do it now I don't think they will ever have a chance to do anything because this is here is this guy was talking peace and suddenly I mean what was like a week ago two weeks ago they were they were in Brussels having uh, uh, ice cream or whatever and now son, suddenly uh, this guy I mean people was writing on Twitter and others saying why would Azerbaijan first he did war he won and what what it makes he is not gonna win this time well let, let me just add a couple of things this massive attack all across the Armenia's eastern border of Azerbaijan I'm not a military expert but even a regular man with a common sense understands the following Azerbaijan cannot just pick up a gun and attack Armenia in, in two minutes. If you're gonna have a massive attack, you have to set up your troops, your tanks, your artillery, uh, your infrastructure, the all sorts of things that go along with, with an army on the move. So it takes days to arrange this attack. And wh where's Armenia's uh, investigative intelligence work to see what's happening across the border that you can see either with your naked eye or with binoculars. On top of that, hold Armenia it, hold it. I think, deal. Hold it. I think we are having a problem here. This internet got cut off. Well, darn it. William Murphy's Law. I think we get cut off. We get cut off. Uh, do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you fine. Yeah, the internet cut off. Stupid internet, you know. Um, so I, I need to redo this. I have to.